come from building yeah. business the way you did and then now co-creating with God. What's been the biggest difference that you've seen or pros and cons to that whole situation? Brother, it's so crazy the timing. This is meant to have, we were meant to have this interview today. And I'll tell you why, man. Like, you know, I, I've been running a um, coaching training program with, for like many years. I've, I've always like, for like at least the last 10 years, been training coaches, speakers, authors, uh, and having a lot of fun with it, man, and graduating people through that, raising up leaders and, and, and training coaches how to actually be coaches, how to actually get results. And I'm noticing because, you know, when you're in the marketing space and you're in the world, because I know I'm in the secular world at times, I'm still representation of the kingdom, but it's kind of like this dance of like be the kingdom in the secular and then pull back a bit and kind of recharge because it can be consuming. Um, I noticed it's just this constant game, man. It's constant game. And it's, and it's like, you know, like your programs can be hot for like two seasons and the next thing, everyone's looking for the next thing or the next thing. Like what's the next thing up? If, if someone's like, I can support you to get, you know, your first five clients. Now if someone wants to like have a million dollar business with 50 clients in 90 days, you know, it's, there's always like a thing that everyone wants sooner, faster, greater, bigger, and, and so like everyone's trying to pump out more information, more offers, more bold with your guarantees and more. And I'm feeling that at the moment with like the constant level up, even though I know I'm a, I'm a coach by heart. Like I love the art and craft of coaching. I know how to facilitate transformation. I can move the room. I can shift perception. And by the grace of God, like the wisdom I have around it has been amazing and I can do it and I can teach people how to do it and replicate it with them through the support. Um, but I see it and I'm for, for thinking foresight for the future, seeing like how long, how, how long can this game keep being played? And I have a platform that's called all bliss, how to be awesome and live a bliss filled life. The word bliss, the definition of bliss means to experience joy in a heavenly state, which I truly believe when we're in alignment with God, we get to experience that. It's not going to be perfect. It's uncomfortable at times, but we get to live in more power and awesomeness in the kingdom, right? So yeah. I have this platform as a membership platform, and you know, like we, we launched the first run and we've got the next masterclass coming out and, and you may have been here before. Maybe someone's listening. You have a dance between, do I do this here or do that there? Which one do I double down harder on? Which one seems to be, and I, I, um, this last week I'm like, I've been running hard with the coaching program and I also have all this here waiting for me and I have people in there and I have people asking me about God and then my whole it comes up is like, yeah, but like a lot of people that are into God don't want to pay more for the higher ticket stuff. I'm just keeping it real with you, man. You know, this is where we're yeah. at. I've been doing this for 14 years, but I'm keeping it real. And, and I've had literally like for the last three days, man, Christian brothers that I'm talking to that are like, yo, man, you're playing small in what you thought was big because what you've got there with that is even bigger. And like, this is not even, they're like, they can see it easily because they're not emotionally tied to it. And, uh, and they're like, cool, that's cool, man. You can keep doing that thing. But I also can see how God is using you as like a vessel. And I've opened myself to that, to be able to go 10 X with this. And again, what it is, is you having obedience in him and it's tough, man. I can't, I can't lie. Like it's tough sometimes in business when it's like, you know, like I've had times where I felt I put a lot of investment down on something and I've got like building the next thing. We've got to launch and we've got time constraints and I've got staff to pay for. And then like, I'm like, okay, the funds for like being able to spend on the things that are more probably like lifestyle. And then I've got business expenses and then I'm looking at it going, Okay, we got this much. That's cool, and we can work with that, and that'll happen, and we have more coming in. And then next thing, you get like a customer that needs a refund because they can't come into the pro. And then like it feels like things start to go backwards. And so I'm looking at it going like, what's going on? And then I have one of my friends. He's going to hospital and needs like money to be be donated. And then I'm realizing I haven't tithed, and I'm going like, what? And again, I'll go into a cycle, and then God's like, just give just give man like wow. he's like trust me and again it's a cycle as you go into that maybe it happens like once every like couple of years for me and i talk with other christian brothers and sis christian sisters where they say they have that experience too and it's like give when you feel like you can't that shows obedience to god and trust and faith and i've been doing that it's like i've been giving at times where i'm like 
you can always justify and say, no, nah, I need money for this or that, or like, you know, baby's coming or the house or the whatever, you know, we need to cut like a newer car. What Then it's, that's like the perfect time to justify it. But God's saying that's the perfect time to be obedient to me because it wouldn't have made a difference before. Now you're paying attention to it. So wow. my walk at the moment is, is seeing how can I be obedient with God and trusting in him so that he can show me the power that can move through me for his kingdom, not even for my will, man, for his kingdom. And so that's my walk right now, bro. And it's crazy because you can step into a new arena like that with God and feel like a little kid again. And I've done it's big so things good, in the dude. personal development space. Man, I don't know if you relate to this or if you've had people that you've ministered for or anyone's listening where they've been in that place. I know I took like it felt like a financial L when I first came back to Christ. I, I, I was making, you know, over six figures, multiple six figures for many years. And then I, I made like a $40,000 a year that year after I got baptized. But I wow. was totally cool with that, bro, because I was just spending all my time with Jesus, man. And yeah, I did like a bit of coaching, but I spent most of my time in isolation just just with Christ in the Word. And and it's like I look back at that sometimes and think, man, the fire that I had in some of those seasons, I'm like, where's like, let me tap back into some of that, but also with the more wisdom. So I'm praying for wisdom, man. I'm praying for guidance. I'm praying for the strength to be obedient. And um it's not easy, man, but it's worth it because every time I've done that and it's God's shown me like in three to six months or a year as it unfolds, you're like, oh, I see how that was even better than what I could ever imagine. It's where yeah, my biggest growth periods are.